Let us now take up the fourth module from this topic where we are going to discuss various typical examples on number series. Now the first example here is 1, 4, 27, 256, question mark, 46,656. And we are supposed to find out what comes in place of question mark. Now what do you think should be coming in place of question mark? What is the logic in this series? If you observe properly, this one here can be taken as 1 power 1. 4 can be taken as 2 power 2. 27 can be taken as 3 power 3. And 256 is nothing but 4 power 4. So it is pretty obvious that question mark should be equal to 5 power 5. Why? Because they are in the form of 1 power 1, 2 power 2, 3 power 3, 4 power 4. So next one, if you take it as 5 power 5, this is a particular fashion. It follows a particular fashion. So 5 power 5 is what comes in place of question mark. And we know that 5 power 5 is 3125. Otherwise, you can calculate that and find out what is the value of question mark here. And this 46,656 obviously has to be 6 power 6. We need not verify whether 6 power 6 is 46,656 or not. It is simple that if this is the pattern, next one has to be 6 power 6. And that can be justified by checking the unit space. Any power of 6 will be ending in 6. And this number here also ends in 6. So we can say that this is 6 power 6. So let us not waste time in checking whether this is 6 power 6 or not. Let's go ahead with the answer as 3,125. That is nothing but 5 power 5. The next question here is 7, 26, 63, 126, 215, 342. And we are supposed to find out which of these numbers is wrong. Or there is one number here which does not fit in the series. So what is that number? Now what do you think is wrong here? 7 or 26 or 63 or 126, 215 or 342. Now if you try to observe properly, this 7 here is nothing but 8 minus 1. Or nothing but 2 cube minus 1. This is like 27 minus 1, which can be taken as 3 cube minus 1. 3 cube is 27, minus 1 is 26. Likewise, this is 4 cube, 64, minus 1, 63. So the probable pattern here is 2 cube minus 1, 3 cube minus 1, 4 cube minus 1, and so on. So next one has to be 5 cube minus 1. But here it is 126. 5 cube minus 1 is 124. So maybe this is the wrong number. It should be replaced with 124. Why? Because 5 cube is 125. Minus 1 should be 124. But let's go ahead accordingly and see if the remaining two numbers are correct or not. If this is 5 cube minus 1, next one should be 6 cube minus 1. That is 216 minus 1, which is 215. So it is correct. And next one has to be 7 cube minus 1. 7 cube is 343. Minus 1 is 342. So we can say that 126 is the wrong number. Why? Because it should be 5 cube minus 1 which is equal to 124. So the wrong number in the given series is 126. Let us now look at the next example. That is 7, 11, 4, 18, 14, 15 and 5. Here we are supposed to find out what is the wrong number. As one of the numbers here is wrong, we need to identify which one of those numbers is wrong. If you look at the numbers here, 7 increases to 11, then decreases, then increases, decreases, increases and decreases. But then this increase and decrease is not in a proper flow. 7 is increasing up to 11, but suddenly it decreases. Then it increases by a huge value, that is up to 18. Then decreases slightly, again increases only by 1 and suddenly decreases up to 5. So there is not a proper flow in that increment and decrement. But then if you observe here, 7 plus 4 will be equal to 11. That means the addition of these two numbers will give us the middle number. Likewise, 4 plus 14 will give us 18. That means sum of 4 and 14 is equal to 18. So we find that sum of two numbers gives us the middle number. Similarly, 4 plus 14 gives us the middle number. Now, if you go by the same pattern, 14 plus 5 should be giving us the middle number. But 14 plus 5 is equal to 19, whereas the given number here is 50. So we can say that 15 is a wrong number. It should be replaced by 19. So the answer for this question here is 15. The question was, what is a wrong number? Here, 15 is the wrong number. So this is again a typical example where we find that sum of two numbers gives us the middle number. Again, the sum of next two numbers gives us the middle number. That means sum of alternate numbers gives the middle number. So that's like a puzzle series where the pattern is really different from what we have been observing so far in the previous cases. But that's how it is. We have no method to get the direct answer. We only have to go for trial and error and check if we can get the right answer in 30 seconds or not. Let us now look at the last example here. That is 12, 17, 23, 
3352 question mark we need to find out what comes in place of this question mark now if we try to go by the differences here 12 plus 5 is 17 17 plus 6 is 23 23 plus 10 is 33 33 plus 19 is 52 but then the differences are not in a proper fashion 5 6 10 19 doesn't have a flow in it there is no rhythm between these differences but then if someone tries to observe the difference of the differences then he gets the right answer for example 5 and 6 the difference is 1 so 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 9 is 19 and now if you look at these differences 1 4 and 9 this is like 1 square 2 square 3 square that is plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so you find that the differences are not in a proper fashion but the differences of differences form a particular logic so going by that we can say that if this is 1 square 2 square and 3 square next one has to be 4 square so that 4 square here is nothing but 16. So 19 plus 16 should give us the difference between 52 and question mark. Now 19 plus 16 is equal to 35. And now if you try to apply this, that means 52 plus 35 should give us the value of question mark. 52 plus 35. So question mark will be equal to 52 plus 35. That is 87. So the answer for this question here is 87. That means question mark has to be replaced with 87. So this is another typical example where you see that the differences of differences form a particular logic. This is a very rare case but then it may appear in the exam. And you have to think in all possible directions to get the right answer. But the time is limited that is we have only 30-45 seconds to get the right answer. So in that time if you are able to work out and get the pattern well and good. Otherwise as I have mentioned always simply leave the question and go to the next one. As there is no definite method which can give you the correct answer. So instead of wasting time on questions of number series, you can instead spend that time in solving other questions where there is a definite way to get the answer. So try out for 30-45 seconds always, but make sure you don't waste time more than 45 seconds. Remember, it's all about observation. These questions are completely based on the perception of the candidate. So you have to observe the logic. You have to feel the pulse of the question. Observe that whether the series is increasing gradually or is it increasing sharply or there are sudden changes and then accordingly try to form the pattern there. If you are successful in doing that in 30-45 seconds, then you are through. Otherwise, you know what's the answer. Leave it and go to the next one. So practice well on these questions of number series. As I have already told you, there are infinitely many logics. I cannot say that the topic is over at this point. Why? Because we cannot discuss all the different logics that are there. But only with practice, you will be able to solve more and more questions in less and less time. So make sure that you practice on various questions on number series, which are there in workbook and training guide, and see to it that you can get maximum out of it in that limited time in the exam. So practice well on this. See you in the next session. Thank you.